Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to calculate logs of functions. So without further ado, let's get started. Now in the previous video, we were actually looking at uh, powers. So if you think about it, uh, to do 10 cubed, we're going to go into 10 to the power of 3. And now that's equal to 1000. Let's say we want to go backwards. We want to actually see 10 to the power of what is, uh, I don't know, let's go with 10,000. So we'd like to figure out what that question mark is. You might actually find that there's two logs. There's one log with two little squares and then right next to it, uh, to the squared button, if you do shift log, uh, you're going to have just the number itself. So if we do shift log 10,000, that's going to equal to four. So we can actually say question mark equals to four. Now that's because when you do just log by itself, this is this automatically has a base of 10. So let me show you how to do it with this button here. So if I go log, then in this case, I would actually put down base as 10 and the actual number as 10,000, I'm going to get four. So you only use uh, the log button if, if it's with a base 10, but you'd use the log button with the two boxes if it's different bases. So what do I mean by that? Let's say we take something like two to the power of five. We know that two to the power of five is 32. However, if I actually do log of 32, so notice how I'm doing log of 32, I'm actually getting 1.505, and that's because it's actually taken to the base 10. So we need to make sure that the base is actually two and not 10. So, and to do that, what we're going to do is we're gonna press on this button here, and we're gonna to go to the base as two, and then the number as 32, and when we do this, we should get an answer of five. So let's try another question here. So we're trying to figure out what is seven to the power of what is, uh, let's go with 50. Then to do this, you would actually use this button here, put the base as seven and the number as 50. And this should give us the power of uh, 2.01. I'm just gonna leave it right there. But if you wanna check your answer, what you could do is you could actually do seven to the power of answer. And that should give you exactly 50 because the number is not rounded. So that's just a quick uh, example to show you folks how to calculate logs with different bases uh, on this particular calculator.